Hi there and welcome to Q&A Wednesday. It's Wednesday again. It just seems to keep coming faster and faster. I can't even believe that it's already June. Uh, but today we're going to discuss um, how do I burn belly fat, which um, I find a fascinating topic. If you watch enough TV, um, you see plenty of commercials that talk about what, what one thing that you can take that's going to burn belly fat. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today um, and discuss that. Um, also want to remind you that I have a special guest coming on tomorrow night, Miss um, Carrie Smith. She is amazing, owner of... Um, Fit for me, um, all women's gym, super, super sweet, and really, um, I love her because we kind of have common goals in empowering women and making them feel good about themselves, um, and and really working to help women feel powerful in their own right. So really exciting. That is at a special time tomorrow night, um, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So don't miss that one. But as for now, we're going to talk about my one of my. One of the funniest questions that um, I don't know about you, but do you ever like look at stuff on Pinterest and go, "Ooh, sounds interesting." I see so much garbage on there that I refuse to kind of participate in some of that just because I find that the education, you know, these days with social media, everybody's become an expert, and I, I just get really frustrated because we're perpetuating a lot of misinformation. Um, you know, that's again, that's not really true. So it's it's a little frustrating, and I'm going to tell you right out here now that I don't know everything. Um, you know, I pretty consistently study um, and every time I have a question you know I go dig because I want to know I want to know how it really works um, and you know that I don't sugarcoat anything so I'm gonna tell you how it really is um, you know and, and if I don't know I'm gonna check it out and I'll find out a way to, to know the right truth um, about that so belly fat so let's talk a little bit about that um, you know the downside to belly fat is that it's usually visceral fat, which is the brown fat, um, the fat that kind of invades the organs. Um, most of us know that you know we have to have a little bit of fat on our body in order to help protect our organs and to, um, you know, that's it, it's a protection to us. But the belly fat, of course, is the fat that um, help it causes some issues. Um, you know, so somebody that has a bare gut, um, I don't know if you've ever seen anyone that has a hardened um, air, abdomen area. Um, that's definitely, you know, getting to the point where it's dangerous levels um, of excess. Um, what, stop stressing? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, Anthony. Um, but, you know, that's the fat that actually causes heart disease, um, type 2 diabetes, um, insulin resistance, um, some cancers. And so, obviously, it's not a good, something that we just really don't want to have. Um, but what I find is that, you know, everybody's looking again for that secret pill. Um, I'm not quite sure. We haven't found it, so why are we still, why are we still searching for it? So, a couple of things um, that I want to talk about today. Um, um, no, that's funny, Daniel. Daniel says that he doesn't have belly fat. He has muscle protectant. So I not thought of it that way, but okay. Uh, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but here's here's the deal. Um, first of all, you when you're trying to burn belly fat, you know I see all these you know the five exercises to burn belly fat. Guys, it doesn't work that way. It just doesn't. You cannot spot reduce. You can tighten. You can build muscle in that area, but you cannot say, hey, I'm going to burn fat from this general area on my body. Otherwise, hey, we'd all have that figured out. Um, you know, for me, I tend to hold my fat in my hips and thighs as a woman, and if it were up to me, that would be the first place I would take it off. But I'm just going to tell you that I have to get really lean to make sure that that fat goes from where I need it to, which is my legs. So you cannot spot burn. What you have to do is you have to do uh, the things that we've talked about. You have to be consistent with cardio, with strength training, and you have to eat well um, in order to reduce that area. And you have to do it consistently because it's going to take some time. Your stubborn area tends to be the last place that, uh, that your body's going to burn fat. So if you think about the fact that your body burns fat from the inside out and and it's also based on hereditarily where your DNA has decided that it's going to burn fat first, which of course your stubborn areas are not going to be it. They're not going to be the first place um, to burn the fat. So keep that in mind um, that it just doesn't, you can do all the cringes you want, but if you're not doing the consistency of eating well and doing those other things, you're just not going to see um, what you're looking for. So again, there's no magic pill. There's no magic concoction. There's no, um, you know, Granted, there's some, there are some great superfoods, um, but you, they're not going to magically make that fat disappear. You have to put in the time, you have to put in the energy and the work um, in order to, to burn that. So I see lots of people hopping on today. That's super exciting. I love it um, and definitely love when you guys participate. So if you have questions, comments, um, jump right in. I see some people popping up and I, I love that. Um, so you know, 
for people who tend to hold belly fat, again, consistency is key, but the biggest thing is making sure that your diet is on target because um, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, some of the things that um, are obstacles to that in just a second. So uh, Melissa wants to know if I drink Shakeology. You know, I'm if, if you've watched my stuff before, I am not a huge fan of Shake diets um, for multiple reasons. Number one, because I don't find them sustainable for the rest of your life. It's okay if it jump starts you, um, but your body doesn't actually have to burn as hard to, to burn off the shake. They're a processed, technically a processed food. Um, and so it's a broken down version of the nutrients and your body more readily absorbs that. Um, and plus most people that choose to do the whole, you know, drink a shake for breakfast, drink a shake for lunch, and then eat a sensible dinner. I find that's crap because in the long run, those people don't get enough calories in a day in order to support their metabolism. So then all of a sudden, um, they have a crash metabolism. Um, funny story walking out, I got my nails done today. Woo look pretty um one thing i do for myself to feel girly but as i'm walking out i met a super super nice guy um and his daughter um they grabbed me and wanted to talk because i have muscle um which i <laughs> it's a great conversation starter right um and so after talking to this this gentleman it was i found it really interesting that he was he's really been struggling he says you know i i was able to lose 10 to 15 pounds and then really stopped losing weight um you know and i said well how many calories and his bigger guy um he told me he was about 320 pounds um and he said Said, I said, how many calories are you eating? 1,400. 1,400 calories. That is, for a 320 pound man, I eat way more than he does. Granted, I have more muscle, but if you don't support your metabolism, again, your body does not know that you're on a diet. It just thinks, I'm starving. And so it slows down. Um, the problem isn't people eating too you know, eating too much. Usually people aren't eating enough. They're just eating too much crap. That's the problem. So again, not going to sugarcoat it. Stop eating crap. That's the problem. Processed food. Um, so, you know, that's part of it. Um, but when it comes to belly fat diet is a, it, it's, it's a huge part of it. You've got to be able to get your, your, um, food under control. And, and again, I don't necessarily mean to eat less. I just mean eat healthy, the processed food. We'll talk about that in a second because there are obstacles. Um, for anyone who has really, really struggled to burn off you know, their, their fat in their abdomen area, there are some things that can work against you. Number one, age. Unfortunately, um, age plays a huge role. Um, and here's the deal. If you are over the age of 40 and a woman, you need to start having your hormone levels checked. Um, even if you find that there's nothing wrong with them, having a baseline is not a bad thing. Um, working with a lot of women, I've done a lot of research on this just because I find that it's such um, a common issue that um, you know, about the age of 40, a lot of women start to experience anxiety, um, depression, a uh, little bit of lethargy, and then obviously some, some um, weight gain around the midsection, some fat being put on in the abdomen section. Um, and what I'm, from all of the research that I'm reading, a problem is actually missing testosterone, a lower levels of testosterone in women. And so believe it or not, in, during our age bearing years, we produce actually 10 times the amount of testosterone that we do estrogen we just don't produce as much as men. So it's not something that doctors think about. I highly, highly recommend in that kind of a situation that you actually go see a naturopath um, or someone who is very, very experienced with hormones on multiple levels. And of course, you know, once you start nearing menopause, then you're gonna have the issues with the low estrogen. Um, and I fully believe, again, lots of research, um, you know, it needs to be bioidentical. So um, really you should know what you're putting in your body and how to best deal with it. But doing those things at a, Fixing your levels of testosterone and estrogen as a woman can actually help prevent your body from aging as fast. Um, so really, I've got a couple of great books. If you're interested, I can pop those up um, and add those so you can read them. Um, one is specifically on women and testosterone. One is on women and what happens after the age of 35 when our hormones change. So um, great options. Um, okay, so back to that. So, you know, age and, age and hormones can affect that. Um, how would you check the hormones from Daniel? Um, you actually have to go have them tested you can go to your if you go to your primary care provider um, they can either send you to an endocrinologist or um, like I said I recommend going to someone who is um, that's their field an expert in their field which is hormones um, because a lot of times a, a primary care provider can give you some basics but they don't they're not able to look at that um, that information quite as detailed as somebody who is experienced with it. And what I'm finding is that a lot of doctors will say, well, you're still within the range that your hormones should be in. The problem is, is that doesn't really mean anything because if your range is this big, but you need to be right here to be 
um, normal <laughs> level, uh, that can be a problem because they might not do anything for you, but you may be out of your own range, you, off of your baseline. So even if you don't have any issues at the moment, getting your baseline is super important because then you have something to go off of when you do need to revisit that in your future. So. Um, the next reason why you might struggle with losing um, that belly fat is not knowing the right exercises to accomplish what you're trying to. Um, you might not be doing enough cardio, enough strength training. I really kind of find that most people don't know that there's different exercises and that they do different things. You know, building a certain amount of muscle, muscle's a natural fat burner, and it's important for shape. Um, you can cardio till the cows come home, but that might not give you what you're looking for. Um, you know, I've seen the pictures. You might have weigh the same as someone else, but they might have more shape and be smaller just because they're strength training. Um, again, consistency across the board is key, making sure that you're getting enough cardio, enough strength training, enough sleep, which we're going to talk about in a second, um, and of course, having your nutrition um, on, on task. So the next one is, you know, for someone who um, really can't seem to get off processed food, that is a huge one, guys. You know... I, Here's the deal. We talk about this. You cannot out exercise a bad diet. You can try. Um, but the older we get, the more important it is to just eat better, eat cleaner. Um, you know, we're, I, I get it. Like we're, we're a nation that's always in a hurry and we need convenience. That's what food prep is for. So <laughs> I don't care if you're not a competitor. If you take your lunch to work, you are food prepping. Okay. So you know, don't leave it to chance. Cut out the processed food. Cut out the sugar. I actually remember the first time that somebody told me, this was years and years ago, um, that they um, were cutting sugar out of their diet. And I could not believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Why would you do that? Why? Like, that doesn't cause people to get fat. Ooh, you know, speed up to the last five years. I've learned a whole lot about sugar and what it does to your body. So, you know, that's... The more that you eat the unhealthy fats, the sugars, and the processed food, the harder it's going to be to lose that belly fat, right? Um, stress, that is a huge one. Um, there is such thing as cortisol. It does actually make you retain belly fat. Um, and so reduction, however, the whole pill thing that they show on TV, it's all crap, okay? So you have to do the right things um, in order to, to burn that off and to actually reduce the cortisol levels, which is to not stress out. Um, tough to do in our day and age, isn't it? So there's different things you can do. Meditation, um, you know, even just eating healthy. How about exercise? Good grief. I get totally stressed out. I go to the gym. I know. It's one of those things. That's my therapy. So um, something that's that's a good option. Okay, let's see. I've got some. Um, Ronnie says, Ed is now the smallest he's been since the military because he's food prepping. Isn't that awesome? Um, you know, the great thing is when you food prep, you don't end up running to whatever food joint, you know, that is available because, oh crap, I forgot. And even if you forget to food prep or if you aren't good at it, there's always better options than others. So keep that in mind, whether it's, you know, running into... The grocery store and finding some some better options deli meat's not my favorite um it is a processed food but you know what that's my plan c if i'm really stuck and i don't have any other options i know where i can go and what i can get that works you know to to kind of at least stay on my little straight and narrow i don't really have a lot of choice for what my goals are um, i don't want to get too far off my target so sandy says that she's lost 14 pounds since getting her blood sugar stable huge it's a huge deal guys it's you know, I really feel like the obesity epidemic um, and the amount of type 2 diabetes that's out there at this point um, can be highly prevented just by stop buying the processed food. It turns to sugar immediately in your system. So, hi, B. How you doing, girl? Um, anyway, okay, so stress. You got to reduce stress in your life. Um, also, not enough sleep. Um, huge, 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 huge. And guys, you know what? You are the only one that can control this. I get a lot of women, I am men, actually, that come in and say, well, you know, my job requires blah, blah, blah. I'm only allowed to get this many hours of sleep. Okay, well, how do I fix that for you? I, I can't. I understand that there are jobs that require that, but you're going to have to make a decision. Choose a new job. Negotiate with your boss. Get your boss on, um, you know, on board with you so that they know that you're going to be much more effective as a person as, and as a, um, an employee if you're able to be healthy. So, um, okay, Daniel, <laughs> Daniel is all about today. Um, yoga, um, 
is part of exercise. Um, I'm going to just tell you that I've been doing hot yoga. I'm six weeks out from Masters Nationals. And let me just tell you, this 42-year-old body does not like to twist and turn the way that it's supposed to in order to pose on stage. And so hot yoga is part of my regime at this point um, because I've got to be able to keep my muscles pliable and, and stretchable and be able to turn so I can flex. So I, I, I think it is. You know, if you can't seem to get enough stretching um, or if you really have some tight areas, plus yoga is is one of the few ways that I know actually how to relax. My heart, cal my heart rate calms down. Um, I'm doing the hot yoga so that my muscles are a little more pliable. Um, but I really think that for this point in my life, that it's it's absolutely necessary, um, and it's it is extra time. But I'm willing to do it. Uh, Marco says that he's been food prepping all of his meals for three weeks and drinking nothing but water. I am so proud of you, Marco. I know I saw you a little while ago, and I'm super excited to see how I, I know you know. So just do it, right? Just get on to it. Okay, so not enough sleep um, is one of the reasons, uh, one of the obstacles um, trying to burn belly fat because, you know, when, you're, when your body is in survival, survival mode, it's going to hold on to all of that fat. Fat is actually a protection to you. Um, the downside is, is that, of course, it's actually it's protecting you from all of the toxins that you've ingested or that you've breathed in um, and so that can actually become a problem as you start to burn off the fat in the future um, but obviously at some point it's going to be more healthy to you to burn the fat off um, but that's a topic for another time so oh Marco I'm sorry you're you're miserable we, we just need to work on it you just need to be happy um, great guy I've known Marco for several years at this point so um, okay so none of sleep stress um, and then for women who are apple shaped um, which is that of course that they keep the, the majority of their fat in their abdominal area um, we find you know bigger abdomen um, usually smaller legs that's a struggle because that is just that's part of your DNA is that your body's going to want to hold it there. So um, it's even more important, however, that you get on to eating healthy, um, cutting out some of the garbage because, again, we don't want you to have those health issues, the, di the diabetes, the heart disease, um, especially as we get older. So the, the more that you can actually take some of that weight off, burn off some of that fat, the healthier you're going to be um, for a long time. So for those of us as women that we carry um, fat in our hips and thighs, um, Although, again, across the board, we need to do a little bit of everything. We need to do cardio. We need to eat right. We need to do strength training. Um, but for me, cardio is imperative. Um, I have to do cardio in order to get that fat to burn. For women who are more par or for apple-shaped, um, the diet is the primary focus, right? We still need a little bit of everything, but their diet is their primary focus. So just keep that in mind. Um, really quick, I want to tell you... Um, something that I have found first on myself when I was a bigger woman um, and now I kind of remind my clients especially if they tend to hold fat in the abdominal area one of the things that you're gonna notice as you do start to burn off that fat is that it doesn't necessarily burn off evenly okay so it's not like the belly just kind of goes down and all of a sudden disappears um, what happened for me is all of a sudden I looked down one day because I had a tot I was a big girl 210 pounds I was a big girl all of a sudden I looked down and I had um, I had two rolls of fat that I didn't have before and I was livid right I'm doing all the right things I'm eating right I'm I'm exercising and all of a sudden there's new rolls of fat but what I discovered is that my body was just cutting in between it was burning the fat in between those two rolls those rolls weren't necessarily new they were my body was just tightening up in my waist section um, so keep that in mind that that is that's not necessarily a bad thing again I know you guys hate hearing this but if you will take pictures um, highly recommend front side back take it in as little clothing as you're comfortable with but let me tell you it makes a big difference when you start to get frustrated or if you see something that you don't feel is um, normal or if you're not quite sure um, you can side by side those pictures and see how your body shape is changing it's very very motivating I wish I had more before pictures it makes a big difference um, to be able to look back and think wow how far have I come um, this weekend I was pulling pictures for my son's graduation party um, and I saw at one point um, I very briefly was a soccer coach don't ask me how that happened um, and I, I looked at those pictures and bless his heart he was probably four or five years old and I was it was a I was a big girl in that picture um, it, it's a very interesting reminder 
to how far I've come. Um, and so that's why I love doing what I do. I figured that if if I can do this, anybody can do this. Um, if you haven't seen my before pictures, hop on to uh, my Instagram. It's Melissa Fillmore underscore one. Um, or you can look back through um, you know all my pictures on my Facebook page um, or my website. It's uh, FillmoreFitness.com. I also have a personal website, MelissaFillmore.com. It needs to be updated, but um, you know some of my information is there too. So you can you can see that I actually understand what people are going through because I've been there um, I'm not just spouting words right um, so Melissa asks, asks how much water should you be drinking you know that you're gonna hear all kinds of, of crazy things I just tell people shoot for a gallon if you're not even drinking enough water right now shoot for a gallon you may or may not hit it but at least you're gonna be drinking probably more than you are now um, it's not about the water it's actually about the electrolyte balance um, so you know it depends on how much sodium you're ingesting. You may also want to take some magnesium or potassium to support that. Um, but just, gosh, it's the best cleanse. It's the cheapest cleanse that you could possibly do. Drink more water. And it's hot outside. So you should be more motivated at this point to do that. But just in case you aren't, do it anyway. Right? Um, Melissa, I can text you about, or I can um, I can message you about that question. Okay? So, um, Anyway, so, you know, keep that in mind that, you know, I want the best for you. I want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. Um, I don't necessarily want you to cut out everything that you love to eat. I get it. Like, when you feel like you're sacrificing, it's a huge struggle. But <sighs> the healthy lifestyle is just that. I want... I'm. My goal is to teach people that it is a lifestyle. It's not a temporary situation where, hey, I'm going to kill it for three months and then I'm going to go back to what I used to do. It's I'm going to get myself into this lifestyle step by step, make little changes across the board until I get to the point where I'm happy and I find that balance um, of where I can keep it up. You can still enjoy, you know, that mocha choco whatever from Starbucks once in a while, just not every day. I don't know how people are okay drinking all their calories I'd rather eat my calories and you know what if I have to work it off it better be amazing it better be the best thing I've ever tasted um, like maybe chocolate cake that's kind of my thing uh, but yeah so um, have an incredible day you guys I, I love this please 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 I love questions um, you know I don't mind repeating myself sometimes because I figure if one person's asking it lots of people are asking it um, Hi Mandy. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate the I appreciate the chair and the the rock on. Um, I have come a long way. It's it's pretty exciting. But now my goal is to help others do the same. So um, you are welcome to leave comments below if you have a question. You can also email me at melissa at fillmorefitness.com. You can check out my website fillmorefitness.com. There's lots of stuff going on. Some crazy fun things coming up pretty soon. Um, and for those of you that don't know, I know I don't talk a lot about competition. Um, I really struggle to kind of do the whole look at me look at me thing um, I just do I don't I don't know what that is but um, six weeks from tomorrow I will be on stage in Pittsburgh um, I just actually paid for my tan yep oompa loompa tan um, I've already got my plane tickets um, my wonderful wonderful friend Mauricio is coming with me um, and we're gonna we're gonna take the world by storm that's what we're gonna do so uh, might give you some more information as we go um, but like I said I've got big things coming up I'm super excited to share all that but have an incredible day enjoy the sunshine love you all